Kenya's camp is brimming with confidence ahead of their upcoming 2026 World Cup qualifiers. But due to the lack of FIFA-approved stadiums in the country, the Harambe Stars will jet out to Malawi to play their two home fixtures against Burundi and African champions Cote d'Ivoire. We are well aware of the task ahead. We'll be playing the next two matches in Malawi, even though we would have loved to play them here in front of our fans. Our next two opponents are tough teams. Of course, Cote d'Ivoire are the African champions, but we will have to believe in our preparations, go there and make sure we compete. There are no underdogs in football anymore. The Burundi match will be tough as well. They are no pushover especially after watching their first two games. Turkish head coach Engin Firat has endured a rough time developing the new Luke Harambe Stars team. Since taking over in October 2021, Kenya has played 11 of the 14 matches he has been in charge of away from home. He laments the lack of proper facilities at home as a hindrance to his squad reaching its full potential. It's the history of Kenyan football. Kenyan teams have always big problems in away matches. So when we build it up a new team away, so therefore I'm proud what the boys have done till now. And we, we have to know that we have to handle this situation. And there's nothing we can do. This is nothing sportive. What should I say about it? So, And this is also not a problem I said also before from today. Uh, this is an infrastructure problem in all of the country. The next 12 months will see Kenya play crucial qualifiers for the 2025 Africa Cup of Nations and 2026 FIFA World Cup. I mean, it's an unfortunate situation because we all knew when the World Cup draw was done, let's say that was done last year, I think, in the summer. So we knew that Harambe Stars will play five games here and five games away. And I do think for small nations like Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, we don't quite really go far, but if you get our home support, you can, you can be able to get the points. That is one of the reasons why some of the small teams have been qualifying for the Cup of Nations. I think the government should at least put an effort to ensure that one facility, just like Uganda did for the Nambole Stadium, ensure that one facility is complete. Tanzania already have one facility, the, the, the Benjamin Mkapa Stadium, that is uh, fully equipped and everything. You could see even uh, they are using VAR, uh, uh, which, which means they are progressing well. After their 5 0 win over Seychelles last time out, Kenya sits third in Group F on three points. Free scoring Cote d'Ivoire tops the group ahead of second placed Gabon on goal difference on six points. Burundi, the Gambia, and Seychelles round off the remaining places in that order. Only the group winner is guaranteed a place at the expanded 48 team 2026 World Cup. It's been nearly three years since Harambe Stars played in front of their adoring fans, with Kenya in a tough qualifying group that includes current African champions Cote d'Ivoire playing their home fixtures away from home could potentially dent their chances of earning one of ten possible slots for Africa. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.